Hey everybody, this is Bibi Lolita and welcome to the live stream. This is a live stream with chat and you are full. Okay, like every day leading up to Christmas. But I was like, Vlogmas will go down. So happy holidays. Tis the season to be jolly. And let's just get into this live moment. Now I'm going to take this off. And this is live stream with chat. And so we're about to get into the Christmas mood. I love these. These are like the little um, holiday bands. And of course I got my classic Santa hat. But I love these. This is like the little elf. Let's make sure I'm straight. Okay. And we're live stream. So if you want to chat with me. There you go. If you want to chat with me, that would be cool. I'm at the park. It is unseasonable weather. Like tennis, jogging, walking. The weather is like in the 70s. But it won't stay this way. But this is wonderful. I love this. Okay, so if we're also doing some buffering, I apologize. This might not be the best Wi-Fi location. But at any rate... Let's throw on some music. I'm in the holiday mood. Welcome to Vlogmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be a good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. that thumbnail in there <laughs> okay everybody um this is the villager keel it was very very popular like super popular back in the day Elvis used to smoke these and this is one of my all to go to's when I don't want to smoke a traditional cigar but this is a full bodied full flavor medium strength cigar it is in the Maduro family and it's called the Villager Kiel Kiel bring that a little closer maybe over here where the sun isn't glaring so much but this is the Villager Keels. They used to have a quill tip. But now it's a plastic tip. Elvis used to smoke these, so that gives you a nice indication if you're Elvis fans out there. So, um, shout out to my nails too, because I got cappuccino and deep purple. I just couldn't decide. Indecisive. But also in my realms of being an aficionado, I give tips. Um, for a smoke like this, you could use the torch. But the only time I would probably do that if it's a windy day 
and you're outside trying to light one of these up. Other than that, I would just use a regular softer flame torch, which this is not a torch, this is just a regular lighter, but these are refillables. This is the Ed Hardy line with the different designs and see you can refill it with butane. So I use Calibri for all of my lighters. They love it. And um, you know, people use what they want as far as their butanes. But because I know Calibri is in here, and this is not just like your regular lighter, I would use a softer flame. You have different torches out there, lighters that have different realms of flame. So for these, you don't need like the <laughs> unless you're just out. Side, like I said, and it's windy and you might be at a cigar lounge and they're sucking fireplaces, stuff like that, um, that I can see using the torch. But you could also find torches that have a softer flame more than others. Some are like a straight blow torch and others are like a little bit more softer. So I'm about to light this up and we're gonna play that again. I, I like that. So cool. This time of year, I'm always looking for the best so, way to keep I hope that everyone has been doing well. But these you don't have to rotate. You just light it up. They must really need the money. They're really <laughs> got all ads. So we'll just wait and everything. But anyway, we're at the live stream. Welcome to the live stream. And there will be more live streams that will have dates and times. But this is the official Vlogmas vibration on this channel. And then there will be Vlogmas today on the first official YouTube channel. My goodness, they really got to pay them bills. Now, I love the taste of the Brazils. It is really, really nice. I'm gonna take this down and see if we can get less buffering situations over here, so. So this is really good. Beautiful taste to it. They also have the natural if you just don't want um, a blended taste, but it does have a beautiful tobacco finish on this. And they also have a beautiful tobacco inhale on this as well. So it's not an infused cigar. So just to be clear on that. So have you put up your decorations yet? We're in the process of putting up the decorations and everything like that, so. Also, if you are a kid at heart and you want to enjoy Christmas, which you should, I would highly suggest to download the Santa Tracker app. The Santa Tracker app is so cool. It's for the whole family to enjoy. So you can find it out there on the Play Store and you can find it on the Apple Store as well. Now, some people favor the Nordic Santa Tracker. To me, that just is as in interactive or gives you that kid at heart type vibe. So Google has done their thing. So I download the Google Santa Tracker every year. And it's a hoot because like I make sure no matter where I'm at that comes the strike of midnight before <laughs> Santa take off. It gives a really good smoke production. But I will say be careful when you 
order these or if you go into your B&M's you can also ask your B&M your favorite cigar store to order these which is what I did and you really should be careful because I did get a box one time where it was cracked now you have to be really delicate with these not like super oh my god but very delicate with your box not to drop it or anything like that because you don't want to crack the tip and I know one box I got the tip was cracked and you just couldn't pull anything hardly and it was so frustrating but because I am a frequent and preferred customer at the B&M's they just tossed that box and gave me another one so that was cool you should have any problems with a draw on these and if you do something is wrong so you take it back to the B&M okay all right so we're going to drive and roll as we normally do here when I'm out and about that's why this is cigar I say sister live I just be on the moving on the go tonight I will be having a smoking session on the first official YouTube channel live stream and I'll be smoking a full stick but this is very relaxing I love the ash on that too it's very nice love it. and it's also a conversation piece too it's a conversation starter because a lot of people they'll be like what is that that you're smoking? You know, it looks different. So, most times you do not have to um, touch this up. So, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the holder. I may have to touch it up because I put it down. It just depends on how sensitive it is. But, we're gonna talk about also, before we ride out, this. So I did promise to talk about it. This is my travel snuff compartment, which is nothing but a cigarette blotter that holds the cigarettes. But because I don't smoke cigarettes, I use this as my travel snuff compartment. I'll think of a name. Snuff holder. So in the zip part, right here, this is where I keep a lot of my essentials. Because I'm, if I'm out and about, I go into a B and M or something like that. You know, I always want to keep the breath smelling as good as possible because you know you're talking to people and you know I don't want just pure tobacco breath which is like I don't want that but it really doesn't offend too much another smoker but I mean you know you want to keep it PC as possible this here is um, Turkish Delight which these are really really good this is in rolls and lemon and I just put it in this little plastic container type thing and it really freshens your breath also I have nips little drops so you can nip away without offending anybody. Okay, let's see. So if I can't get hold to that or if I don't want to use the Turkish Delights um, for breath freshener, then I just use the nips. And they're really good. And they're very, very powerful. Just like two drops to send you like, like 15,000 times worse than the peppermint patty. Also in here too, I'm such a girl, I'm such a lady. I keep the little small vials that I get off the PR list of perfume. So if I am at the B&M and even though a lot of the lounges, they're very ventilated, I might do a little whisks of a perfume. So I keep like two of them in here. So that's it for that little part. Oh, and also I do have a, a snuff spoon, which is down in here too. 
just kind of hiding from me at the moment. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So if someone wants to try some of my snuff, then I'm going to be nice enough. But I'm going to dip it out my compartments and then use the snuff spoon and dip some out and, you know, just like dip it out the container and then drop it on their hand like this and then they can sniff it. So that's what's in there. So it's always good to share if you want to because I have a different array of snuffs because it depends on my mood. So it that's that on that. Like the young kids say, that's that on that. <sighs> All right. Closing this back up. Yes, yeah, with unseasonable weather. I'm trying to get everything back down here securely. Santa Claus coming to town. All right. He's making a list, checking a class. He's gonna find out who's not in house. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're away. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Now, there are some times where this will get a little moody and it'll go out on you but sometimes that could be a good thing especially if you're trying to film and talk about something else that way it won't keep burning and you can enjoy it okay so what's else what else is in here we're gonna start with this side this, ladies and gentlemen, might get you arrested if you're that crazy enough <laughs> to be out and do this. This is the Snuffy Weiss for the back. You can get this from Mr. Snuff. What it is, this is non-tobacco, but it cleans out the open cavity of your nose if you want to smoke um, excuse me if you want to sniff something else than what you have already sniffed so it's also good as a wake up wakes you up if you want to because that's what snuff does it wakes you up cigars chill you down snuff wakes you up <laughs> snuff chills you down but this, because it doesn't have any tobacco in it, it's going to give a wake-up flavor. And it just has, you just turn it around to where the opening is. But here's the thing why I said, don't play around in public with this too much. Because first thing people are going to think is that you're doing cocaine. And that is not cool. So I open it up, and I'm going to show you. Do you see that? That's white. Okay. But this is non-tobacco snuff. It has like a minty flavor. So you're going to need your handkerchief and wipe off the residue before somebody thinks something. And then you got to explain what it is. And you just don't want those kind of problems. But anyway, I'll show it. See, it's white. <laughs> but this is non-tobacco. You can get this from Mr. Snuff uh, under the Polish flag because when you go out Mr. Snuff and you look for snuff, they'll tell you Indian, American, um, UK, all that. So again, it's white and oh, it gives you a nice wake up factor. It's very eye opening. And that's it. So it refreshes you, but I would do this discreetly. If you go on snuffhouse.org, they talk about it also. Like, you just have to use common sense using that one in public. Now, I have a little fluffer here because I'm always, you know, I'm a chica. And this is my little thing. I found this fluffer. I thought that would be cute. Like, if you go out and you're dressed up and you go to the lounge or a cigar event and you don't want to use your handkerchief and you want to be very shishi and you can dust off your hand and all that good stuff. You know, like you just dust it off, dust off yourself. 
So that's what's in here also, but I also have my handkerchief. So I do keep it classy and stick with the classics. Now also in here is some snuff, different variations, and this is a different kind of snuff bullet. I got very varied snuff bullets. In this blue one, and I color coordinate them as much as possible so I know what I'm snuffing, but this is a Spanish gem, which is like a cognac type snuff, mm -hmm. and this is a snuff bullet, and uh, it has a hole that you can tap out if you don't want to use this and sniff up after you turn it. When you turn it, it gives a nice dosage of snuff for you. So you can either tap it out. Ooh, a nice bit came out there. Look at that. Let me see. See it? I don't know if you can see it, but. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. So a nice bit came out. I like to just tap it out. This is great if you're going to use it for cognac or anything, but it has the cognac type vibe. And even though I am a brown girl, that residue will still be on your nose. So that's why you want to have a handkerchief or a fluffer to take off the residue off your nose because you just want to keep it as cute as possible. Keep it, keep it cute, keep it clean, keep it handsome. You know what I mean? But it's beautiful, especially if you're sipping on a nice cognac. This is beautiful. And so I just put it in this particular snuff bullet because it reminds me of sapphire so then I know I'm gonna get ready to sniff Spanish gem there was another snuff that is no longer made it's called Spanish jewel and I don't know if the blender took the recipe with him to the other side of life because he transitioned from this side of life and they said it was absolutely gorgeous in its blend so someone somewhere in this world still has Spanish Jewel and I would love to try it. So that's why you'd be a member of these different clubs like snuffhouse.org because you never know who has a particular snuff um, that they could send to you or sell to you. You know, so it's a beautiful brotherhood and sisterhood of the leaf for snuff. This one is gold in color. This is where I keep the champagne. Now this is a nice one coming up for um, New Year's. I'm not gonna sniff this one, cause that Spanish gem is just beautiful within my nose. A nice rum and coke would be nice right now, or like a um, beautiful brandy, scotch. I mean, that's just how beautiful it is in the nose. And that's made by Toke. This is also made by Toke. The, the um, champagne. And I'm going to go on back up to the top here. This is champagne. And I have it filled in there. And it's beautiful. I carry the travel snuff case with me, but I always, at some point during the week, put the whole case into the thermoelectric humidor so to cool down. And I also keep a bava to pack in there too to make sure that they're getting a nice humidification and keep the scent. So yeah, I color coordinated these. So then I got another one. These are the aluminum snuff bullets. This has peanut butter in it by Toke. And it is beautiful. If you want that peanut flavor, they nailed it. So that's what I keep in there. Peanut butter. <laughs> I don't know how Roderick and company do it for toke, but just keep doing what you're doing because it smells just like peanut butter. It's great with a nice beer and chips and pretzels and stuff like that. I just whenever you want to sniff that. Now this is the one and only Tube Rose Snuff. 
American scotch. My great grandmother, this was her go to. And if you've been following both of my channels, I got the big vintage two row snuff that I pull from and put in the different containers. That recipe today for two rows is different. It's still good because I have the new blend. But the old blend that I found, they're two different recipes. Whatever the new one has, it is off the mark of the vintage one. And the vintage one, when I open up the can, I remember those days of my great grandmother enjoy those. Two row snuff moments. So that's what I put in this one. I put the old vintage batch. And it is divine. And it will wake you up. <laughs> and it's not for novices. It's strong. And it gives you a nice little buzz factor too. And it pairs well also with like a cognac as well because of the notes in it. The last one in this little sachet is green. And it's actually bigger than the other bullets if you compare them side by side. It's fatter, more width. In here is Lime Toast by Toke. I love it. Uh, it's great with like margarita moments. I fell in love instantly and ordered enough to keep <laughs> so good. Whew. Now I have this Spanish gem in my nose, but I'm so tempted to put some of this in my nose too because <sighs> so beautiful. I mean, just like a margarita saying, hello. Sometimes you have to shake them up. I don't know if anything's going to come out of that. Because sometimes you have to shape, tap on it. And see if it'll come out. So we're going to try. Let's see. Oh, a little bit came out. Not much to write home to anybody about, but let's try it again. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. So you have to get the touch of it. Ah. Oh, look at that. One more time. This is. Lime toast. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's like a margarita in the nose. It's beautiful. So I always have this along when it's time to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so then I just put them back in the sachet. And I make sure I kind of lay them down. And I have, uh, that's just the way that I do these. There are so many different kinds of snuff bullets.
So I keep it in the sachet like that. Open it up. Drop it. Make sure I'm dusted off really nicely. I put my little fluffer back in. I also put the snuffy rice back in. The glare is just so much, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But I got all of these off of Mr. Snuff in the UK. Depending on how much you buy, you might get free shipping, but royal shipping for most orders are about $9, $10. But the snuffs are so reasonably priced. So that's the snuff on this side. What's on the other side? More snuff. <laughs> More snuff. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So we'll do the other side before Vlogmas is over. So now, it is time to ride and chill. So, I'm lighting this back up and we're rolling out. Everybody had a good time at the park today because the weather was so unseasonable. But take your cold medicine because it's gonna get chilly back again. This is like a facade. <laughs> Get into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I have officially gotten into the spirit for Christmas. And then make sure that you um, get out in the city and see what other people are doing. There are a lot of good free events that are happening. So get some of those um, ideas going where you want to go by getting some of those um, newspapers that cater to different events around the city or cities surrounding you and stuff like that.
I love these mixes. They get you in the holiday spirit. <laughs> Serious XM, you know, like all the channels have already converted to holiday channels, a lot of them. So you get varied type of uh, Christmas songs from classic to country to R&B, rock, instrumental, easy listening. It just really puts you in a good mood. I love that. The ash is easy to drop off, so, you know. For rocking with me, hanging with me. There will be more moments to come as we count it down to Christmas. Make sure you download the Santa Tracker app and have fun. Be a kid at heart. Don't let the kids have all the fun. <laughs> and there are some great Christmas stories too. Not just the Hallmark, like they have like the Christmas story that's gonna be running. I think that's gonna be doing marathons. You know how it is. This sun is John Blaze. And when I say John Blaze, I mean this sun is John John Blaze. I'm just gonna go over here. I know I did wrong, but that turn was just a little bit too. Somebody behind me. So I'm gonna park it. Go 
Golly, we are away from the sun. So I think I'll move. And go back toward the sun. All right, everybody, I'm about to sign off. And more to come for Vainglorious Vlogmas. So stay tuned and happy holidays, everybody. There will be more live chat action happening so make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna get one more puff of this. <laughs> so good, the Villager Keels. All right, everybody, I'm out. Peace and love to everyone. The live stream, guess what? They changed like their interface. So a lot of us are like, hey, you want us to stay on long? Okay, bye-bye.